This is ABTV, Animal Bites Television. Ants, there are a lot of them. Evolutionarily speaking, ants are some of the most successful animals that have ever existed. There are an estimated 22,000 species of ants found worldwide on every landmass on the planet other than Antarctica, which is a little bit ironic when you think about it. Antarctica. Never mind. Of those 22,000 species, here are the five that I consider to be the absolute weirdest. My name is Jason Miller, and you're watching 5 Weird Animal Facts. Number one, you know how ants usually don't explode? This species does the opposite. The Malaysian exploding ant, one of the only animals on the planet that practices a defense mechanism known as autothesis. During autothesis, a soldier ant of the species will contract her abdomen, putting pressure on her large poison glands until they explode and send poisonous goo straight into the face of the colony's attacker. The ant obviously dies when this happens, and the noble act of selflessness does not go unnoticed by the rest of the colony. Just kidding, it totally does. Ants are heartless bastards. Number two, the bullet ant. This large ant is native to Central and South America and is recorded as having the most painful bite of any Hymenoptera, the order of insects containing bees, ants, and wasps. The bite has been described as causing waves of burning, throbbing, all-consuming pain that continues uninterrupted for up to 24 hours. The pain is reported to be equal to the pain of being shot, which is what gives the bullet ant its name. A few years back when I was in Costa Rica, I was ziplining in the uh, rainforest, and there was this, I was like 40 feet up in a tree, and I put my hand on a tree trunk, like just to balance myself or something. And there's a bullet ant, like, literally between my two fingers. And I almost had a heart attack and fell. Cool story, Jason. Number three, the Dracula ant. Native to Madagascar, this unusual ant is believed to be an evolutionary link between ants and wasps. But that's the boring part. The interesting thing about this species is where the queen and worker ants get their food. As you might have guessed from the name, they drink blood. But not just any old blood. No, no. They drink the blood of their own babies. But don't worry, they don't drink enough of the blood to actually kill the developing larva, just enough to keep it alive so they can drink its blood again some other day. The larvae make a full recovery after being vampired by their mom and her friends and will someday drink from a baby of their very own. Nature is beautiful. Number four, the turtle ant. These stout little beauties get their name from the large flat heads belonging to the soldiers, which looks like a turtle shell, except not really. Soldier turtle ants rock this lovely headgear in order to fulfill their only purpose in life, to be a cork. They block the entrances to their colony and pretty much just hang out there contemplating their own existence. Ants belonging to this genus are so flattened that they've actually become aerodynamic. When they're knocked from a branch, turtle ants are able to glide back towards the direction of the tree trunk, not unlike a flying squirrel. Just imagine being the scientist conducting research on this. Just sitting up in a tree all day dropping ants. Last but not least, here's number five. The trap jaw ant. When this ant hunts, it leaves its mouth open an impressive 180 degrees wide. It has two sensitive hairs pointing forward from its face that work as triggers. As soon as the hairs touch something, the ant's jaws snap shut at an unbelievable 145 miles per hour. Let's check the stats here. Researchers studying this ant have found that its jaws accelerate at 100,000 times the force of gravity. This means that they close 2,300 times faster than the blink of an eye and exert forces 300 to 500 times the ant's body weight. This is the fastest bite in the animal kingdom and they don't just use it for capturing prey. When faced with a threat, the ant slams its open jaws onto the ground and when they snap shut, the force sends them flying upward up to 3 inches and backwards up to 15 inches. To put that into perspective, it would be like me jumping 50 feet into the air and landing 140 feet behind where I originally started just by doing this. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what animals and topics you want to see in future episodes. Seriously, I'm really running out of ideas here. Like and share this video and subscribe to Animal Bites TV for more awesome animal things and stuff. Check out all my social media stuff with the info in this box. And until next time, my friends, my name is Jason Miller, and I'll see you next Monday on 5 Weird Animal Facts. My name is Brian Barczyk. I've been working with exotic animals for over 25 years. I'm no zoologist, just a guy with a passion for animals. And that passion often takes me on animal adventures around the world. This is ABTV.